Hi, I'm Fiona Early and I'm the project coordinator of the Autism Friendly Project in DCU. This is a three-year project based on 18 months of research. In broad terms, the university is celebrating the autistic community within DCU by helping them to thrive both socially and academically. This means adapting the environment, raising awareness and having conversations about what autism friendly means. DCU has designated quiet areas, for example in the Students' Union, the third floor is a quieter area. It has three sensory pods, like these in the three different campuses. It's, um, it provides ongoing training to academics, to sabbaticals, to student ambassadors in relation to autism. Orientation was live streamed last year and will be live streamed again this year. There will be quite areas provided. There will be quite our hours each day during orientation. During clubs and societies there will be quite days as well. For registration there will be quite hours to pick up student cards. Um, and what has been realised throughout all of this is that everything has been done, everything that has been done to make our DCU autism friendly has benefited all students and staff. So it really is about universal design. What age were you diagnosed at, Cathy? I was diagnosed in 2013, so I would have been six years ago. Let's see. I'm great at maths, I swear. 15. <laughs> I found if a light was too bright, it would be at best distracting and at worst it could get to a stage where if I was stressed and there was light and there was noise, I'd usually get a lot of headaches or migraines. Um, did you spot any immediate, I suppose, challenges when you got into third level as distinct from second level? The content is a lot more demanding, similar to when I was in my old school with it being so large, the campus. And there being so many people, like I can't use the canteen, for example. When you hear every single squeak and clatter and conversation, it just doesn't work for me. And we all have to share the space we're given. But it's nice to have your own secluded area where you can have control of the lighting, you can control the sound, you can control the air. Well, I think universities and society as a whole could benefit from being more inclusive and diverse. I think that by enabling people to access college education who would otherwise not be able to, they have a deeper level of gratitude and respect for the opportunities. You see, there aren't any studies on specifically how autistic students perform in DCU now that it's autism friendly because it's at the very early stages of its development. But you see in similar um, similar projects which are about including people who would otherwise not be able to go to college, you see with access that they actually thrive and that 93% of them, no, 96% of them finish their degrees and then 93% of those who finish their degrees are in employment within six months of leaving. And then I think it's 40, 40 something percent love it so much they actually go on to a master's or higher. So it just shows that sometimes people just need a hand up and to be able to get certain supports and then they will become self-sufficient. You know what I mean? DCU has taken a whole campus approach to this project. So it looks at life as a university student from the day that the student enters university up until when they leave and more importantly after they leave. So DCU is very focused on giving the students skills that equip them to navigate the outside world as well as within DCU. The principles apply to everyone in DCU, from local businesses to academic staff to the students' union. So it takes into account every interaction that the student would have in DCU. And by taking into account, it means that it raises awareness with people who students socialise with both inside and outside of DCU.